I'm not sure the office of the future is an office. Perhaps the word is, you know, redundant. The global workforce will very soon be made of mostly freelancers, using online tools to connect with clients, maybe across the world. Augmented reality and virtual reality will mean that we can do more virtual meetings, which is great for flexible working as well. Working from home, of course, is, is the dream. You are in your pyjamas, you are comfortable. As you bring more people into your team, you realise that you need uh, to have a space where you can meet. We sit in front of a computer all the time, but in essence we are human beings. We need this interaction, we need this exchange face-to-face, -face, and we need to create those spaces also in corporate offices so people can thrive. My ideal for the future is that um, the working relations in, in between people are going to be much more trust-based. And if you have a trust-based relationship, I think space is going to change a lot. It's going to be much more like open and free and less uh, suppressing. The only fixed element that you can find in over three spaces are probably the walls. For example, we have this big space uh, with three big tables that you can easily change and make open space for events. We have boxes that you can uh, use for building a library or you can use to keep your staff or to make a desk. So everything was thought to be multifunctional. An office is a bit of a one-dimensional concept in most people's minds. What you've got here is quiet space, you've got chat space, you've got meeting space, you've got event space. You know, we like to do a lot of events, so there's tables down there. Uh, they will come apart and they slot onto the wall. So in half an hour, we can clear that downstairs space completely uh, and have it ready for a big event. Mostly what this open co-working space attitude is all about is open sourcing ideas, making things open and collaborating together. You get a lot more benefit out of working in a collaborative way than in keeping all of your ideas to yourself. There is space for, really for serendipity, for meeting people and getting exposed to ideas, new approaches which you haven't thought about. So what you're getting is people collaborating of their own free will. Uh, what that is brilliant for is innovation. A lot of corporates struggle with innovation. Real, you know, breakthrough new ideas are hard to come by. And so if they can think about how you can create an environment in which people feel free and invited to just be themselves and to collaborate freely where there's no such thing as a bad idea, where everything is interesting, then they could have a bit of what we've got.